Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I want to speak about the consciousness of the spirit and the higher self and really get you um, get into your own personal evolution and connect more to the spirit world, connect more to the unseen world and really get to channel your true self-expression. Now, what I've seen in my own journey was the fact that I had moments where um, I felt really connected to my guidance, okay? I had moments where I felt really in alignment with my spirit. I felt in alignment with my higher self. Now, what is the higher self? Well, the higher self is our true authentic expression, okay? It is who we really are at an energy level. It is our spirit. And the spirit is constantly guiding us, okay? The spirit is constantly guiding us through our heart center, through the emotional body, okay? And, you know, the guidance that is happening from the spirit is based on our free will, okay? The higher self wouldn't break the free will. That is what maybe the ego would do. So my suggestion is, if you really want to connect with your higher self, find ways in which you expand your free will, okay? Because this, this is also how the angelic realms guide us, okay? Through the free will. And what I'm realizing is the fact that sometimes I get in moments where I'm between two decisions. And what I'm seeing is the fact that I have a choice, okay? You always have a choice. My suggestion is listen to the choice that feels good in your body, okay? Listen to the choice that feels good in your body because that is the guidance that is coming from the higher self. So your body has intelligence, okay? Your emotional field has intelligence. And, you know, the higher self and the spirit has seen all the potent future realities and it is guiding you towards the most appropriate one. Okay, so it's like your heart self sees the future realities. It sees all the potentialities and it is guiding you towards the most appropriate one. My suggestion is listen to your gut. That is how to connect to the consciousness of the spirit. Listen to your intuition. That is where the magic is happening. Okay, so it's important to find little ways to step into vibrational alignment, into the connection that you have with your inner world. Okay, because the connection that you have with your inner world is also the connection that you have with your outer world. It is also the connection that you have with life. Okay, so it's all about your inner journey. It's all about your inner, inner world. It's all about your inner evolutionary process. And what I'm seeing in my own journey is the fact that the more that I'm mastering my inner world and the more that I'm letting go and the more that I become at peace with myself is the more that I have a better relationship with my higher self and it is the more that I have a better relationship with life, okay? So it's about really getting to take the red pill Take the red pill and, you know, begin creating your own world, okay? We have the power to co-create the reality that we want to experience with the universe, guys, okay? So, it's about really learning to alchemize your inner world because, you know, your inner world may be created by your past experiences, okay? Your, your mm, thought patterns are influencing your present moment. And the more that you are embracing your past and the more that you are healing yourself is the more that you step into alignment with the present moment, is the more that you step into alignment with your higher self. It is the more that you have a different connection with life, okay? So some of us spiritual seekers really choose to uh, go to really rough experiences rough experiences this is what i've experienced in my own journey like literally hell okay hell 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 but what i'm seeing is the fact that we we, we are choosing some experiences at a soul level in order to evolve in order to become stronger in our spirit in order to have a different relationship with ourselves. So what I'm saying is the fact that I'm always having the opportunity to alchemize and improve my state of consciousness. I always have the opportunity to alchemize and improve my past, okay? Because, you know, 
Time is not linear, guys. Okay, time is actually simultaneous. It means that past, present, and future are all happening right here in the now. And the more that you improve the relationship that you have with the present moment, is the more that you also influence the past. So the question is, can we really change the past? I'm not sure if we can change it in the 3D, but I'm sure that we can influence it in the 5D. So with the consciousness that you have in the now, you get to influence your past experiences. You get to influence your past self. And it's important to put your consciousness into the now and find little ways to heal yourself. Find little ways to love yourself. Find little ways to co-create the reality that you want to experience with your higher self. Okay? So, what I'm seeing is the fact that if I want to connect with my higher self is the fact that I don't have to be perfect in this process. Okay, I don't have to be perfect in this process. It's more likely about loving myself unconditionally and getting to accept everything about myself. Okay, get to accept everything about yourself, guys, because that is such a beautiful thing. Because unconditional self, uh, unconditional love for the self will bring you unconditional love for the world. Okay, so unconditional love for the self will bring you unconditional love for the world. And in essence, you are the world, you know, because the inner and the outer are connected. And, you know, the more that you connect with your higher self and the more that you heal yourself, the more that you heal your DNA structure and the more that you improve your emotional field, is the more that you also help the collective uh, improve these things. You know, it's the more that you help the collective consciousness step into a higher awareness, into a higher plane of consciousness, you know? And guys, everybody has a higher self, okay? Everybody has, has a higher self. And the higher self, when you are connected with your higher self, you really feel a vibe of love, a vibe of authenticity, a, a vibe of where you are feeling in your power, in alignment. And that is such a beautiful thing because your higher self is your true authentic expression. And again, the higher self wouldn't break your free will. So if you are feeling something that is a fight or flight situation, that is not your higher self. Okay, that is not your higher self because the higher self is connected to the spirit world in such a way that it is representing free will. Okay, it is representing free will. So my suggestion is get to um, deconstruct every single belief system. Get to deconstruct every single toxic thought pattern. Get to um, look at your own trauma. Get to look at your own wounded emotional pattern and get to accept it and integrate it. Get to let it Mm, get, get to let it dissolve, okay? Get to let it dissolve. And really get to be in a pure state of consciousness. Really get to operate from the heart. Get to operate from the intuition. Because, you know, so, mu so many of us, we are constantly living in our thoughts. And we are constantly living in a projected mind towards the future. But what I think is the fact that the magic is happening in the now. You know, the magic is happening in the now. And the more you are chilling your mind, it could be with meditation, creativity, sports, nature, anything, okay? So the more that you are chilling your mind and the more that you are finding ways to step into your heart space, is the more that you are connected with your higher self, is the more that you are connected with the consciousness of the spirit. So for example, me, when I'm doing these videos, it's like I'm channeling a new energy, okay? It's like I'm channeling my true self-expression. It's like I'm being in connection with my true energy, with my authentic state of consciousness. So my suggestion is get you Find little ways to just be yourself. That is how to connect with your higher self. You get to find little ways to step into vibrational alignment. And you know, it's about trusting. You know, it's about trusting because if you don't trust yourself, you cannot trust life, okay? Because again, life is happening based on your perception, okay? You attract things in your life based on your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. 
So my suggestion is get to change and shift the relationship that you have with yourself and you will step into a smoother state of consciousness. You will step into love, okay? Love is, love is the energy that herself will always guide you with, okay? So love is the most powerful energy in the universe. And when you open your heart and when you open your quantum energy and your quantum field into a state of love, you will be unbreakable, okay? You will be in a super advanced state of consciousness. And, you know, we live in times of awakening. We live in times where people are connecting more and more with their higher self. We are living in times of receiving light codes from the galaxies. You know, the universe is expanding at an infinite rate. And so many individuals are awakening to a higher vibrational truth on the planet. Okay, so it's our job to really help the connected, uh, help, <laughs> I'm sorry, help the collective uh, get into their spiritual nature, maybe, you know, help the collective get into a uh, more aligned state of consciousness, okay, help the world expand, okay. So yeah, this is today's perspective on the higher self and the consciousness of the spirit. Your spirit is always with you on all planes, on all dimensions, on all timelines, okay? And realize that you have a choice, guys. My suggestion is listen to the choice that feels good in your gut. Listen to the choice that feels good in your body. And you cannot go wrong, okay? Even if it feels like you are going wrong, source consciousness will always know what is meant for you. And what is meant for you will always happen for you, okay? What is meant for you will always happen because you have chosen it at maybe subconscious level. You have chosen it at a level that represents the consciousness of the spirit, okay? So what is meant for you will always gravitate towards you. Connect to that and you will see magic happen into your life, okay? So guys, if you are new to, to my YouTube channel and if you wish to see more of these videos coming up, feel free to subscribe and maybe leave a comment if you feel that that's what you wanna do. So this was today's channeling on the higher self and the consciousness of the spirit. The emotional field is a super powerful tool to use, okay? Alchemy is also a super powerful tool to use. Shifting perception when something negative happens to you is also good. And being yourself and co-creating with the universe the reality that you want to experience will give you the opportunity to be in alignment with your true authentic power guys thanks so much for watching namaste to you all and like always see you on what is coming up next much peace and see ya bye bye